Nigel, a nice win against Gregorian today. Quite a crushing victory, I should say, with White. I'm absolutely delighted. I, I don't know what the computer says about it, but I was very pleased with the uh, the, the way I played this. Uh, I sacrificed a piece very nicely and just got all my pieces, uh, my, the rest of my pieces, going forward. So I had absolutely no idea about the theory, no idea about the opening at all. So I just sort of made it up as I went along, but um, uh, it seemed to work out okay. Right, moves like knight f5, knight g7, very inspiring play. Was there something special you did before the game today that uh, made you play this way? <laughs> I was just trying to sober up from yesterday. I had way too much to drink last night and I was feeling very, very rough today. So, um, and uh, you probably noticed in the blitz last night, I was a bit subpar. So, uh, yeah, I went for a walk, tried to get some fresh air. A little bit of singing? A little bit of singing um, and um, not a huge amount of preparation because um, if you're feeling a bit worse for, for wear, uh, it's best not to tire yourself out. So I played quite quickly today. That's another thing. I didn't want a long game. Uh, so better just to sacrifice some pieces and... Uh, you know, either you win or you lose. So. <laughs> well, this time it worked perfectly. And it's true what you said, that sometimes it's just more important to show up at the game with a fresh mind rather yeah. than a whole lot of preparation. Well, that's right. That's right. I, I mean, I, I made a decision on, um, you know, on my opening move and it wasn't quite clear what uh, he was going to do in reply. And I think he, he didn't know because he was sort of fiddling around with the move orders. I think he was a bit surprised by knight f3 on the, on the first move. And he was trying to, um, yeah, just understand what was going on in my mind, which actually wasn't very much. <laughs> right, now, yesterday's blitz, Nigel, now you say that you performed subpar, but I have to say that first game against Fabiano, you were completely crushing him. Yeah, it was very, yeah, I was actually disappointed because uh, normally I have some uh, company at dinner uh, and uh, I, I, I was left all alone. You know, I had a couple of uh, lovely ladies the other evening who had a glass of wine, so I didn't drink so much. But last night I was all alone, and one glass is, is not enough, and one bottle is too much. You know how it is with these. Bottles are meant to be shared. So, um, yeah, I, I, I came to the Blitz, and I wasn't expecting to play the Blitz. Juan Bayon asked me about two minutes before it started. So I showed up pretty drunk, and I was completely crushing Fabiano in the first round. <laughs> I mean, just all over him. And, um, uh, of course, at some point I started blundering terribly and I lost the game, which is my own stupidity, really. <laughs> Still a whole lot of fun. Now, just coming back to the Masters event, are you happy with the way things have been going for you? Yeah, I mean, look, uh, at um, uh, 40 moves in the first round... <laughs> I was dead lost against a, a 2300 player. So to have three and a half out of four at this point um, is, is very good. So I'm, I'm delighted. And actually my last two games, I, th I think, I mean, I'll check it with the computer, but I think my last two games have been very good games. So it looks like, you know, I had a wobble at the start and I'm sort of finding my rhythm uh, uh, a bit better but it's a very long tournament and you know a lot of rounds uh, to play so it's it's a question of maintaining consistency now you're also one of the most active chess players on social media everyone loves you on twitter you seem to quite uh, enjoy it yourself i do i do um yeah i only discovered twitter a, a few years ago but i um i've become a big fan uh and uh, it's, um, you know, I don't buy my followers like some other people do. They seem to have these computer algorithms following other people. So I, I just uh, accumulate them naturally. And it's my ambition to be able to fill Lord's Cricket Ground with my uh, uh, followers. But I only have 22.4 thousand at the moment, so I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> You'll get there and we wish you all the best for the remaining rounds and look forward to having you back yeah. in our studio soon. I'm, I'm looking forward to being here <laughs> with something to cheer about anyway. Thank you. Thank you, Nigel.